Blair and I'm an instructor at the Film Camp for Kids and Youth. Today, I'm going to show you some important things to remember when writing scripts for specific genres, while referencing some popular camp films. When it comes to writing scripts, each genre always follows a certain set of rules and expectations that allows the audience to get an idea of what to expect from your film. Let's start with one of the most popular camp genres, comedy! Comedies are known for their emphasis on humor and making people laugh. In most comedy films, the main character tends to end up in a very wacky situation. For example, in the movie The Doorstep Baby, a man finds a baby on his doorstep. But since he doesn't like babies, he tries to find a way to get rid of it. Comedies also almost always have a happy ending, which is why at the end of The Doorstep Baby, the man learns about the importance of caring for the babies at the end of the film. A lot of screenwriters consider comedy to be a very broad genre, which is why it can be known to be a very popular subgenre. By having comedy as a subgenre, we can get action comedies such as films like The Bomber's Mission, or comedic dramas such as The Financially Stable Housewives of Hudson Bay. Another one of the most popular genres at camp is horror. The goal of a horror film is to scare your audience. In these types of films, there's normally some sort of evil force involved, whether that's ghosts or monsters, but in this case, we're going to use the evil clown from Attack of the Clowns. In this film, the group uses many different production elements, such as dark lighting, unique camera angles, and sudden loud noises to make the viewer feel uneasy. As well, they choose to make the clown a very evil type character, which not only frightens the characters on screen, but the audience as well. Next, let's take a look at the mystery genre. Mysteries center around characters who are trying to solve a certain problem or crime. We can use Get a Clue as our example. In Get a Clue, our characters must solve the murder of Miss Peacock, and for the rest of the film, we watch our characters interrogate other characters, search for evidence, and track down which character committed the crime. Our main element in mystery films is suspense, in order to keep our audience engaged to see what happens next. This next genre is a little underrated, but it's a really popular genre at film camp. This genre is called a mockumentary. A mockumentary is a combination of a documentary as well as a comedy in order to provide a fictional comedic take on the documentary genre. A good example of a mockumentary is Basket Base. When watching this movie, we can see that they use interview shots as well as b-roll to describe a certain event. Other good examples of camp mockumentaries include movies like Hide and Seek and Brock the Sock. Another popular genre at camp is action. We can use the Aloha movies as an example. In these movies, we follow agents who work at the armed league of Hawaiian attire, as they try to stop the villain Hernando from achieving a certain goal. Action films like these ones involve lots of fast-paced events. They also include many action shots, stunt sequences, and almost always end with the hero defeating the villain. The most unique genre that has taken place at film camp was a western movie called Gold Fever. Western films most always involve cowboy protagonists, horses, as well as western towns and branches in order to tell a story within that certain theme. They also always have some sort of duel in order to solve their problems. We can see this in Gold Fever in the scene where we watch the two characters have a duel over the gold. When westerns were more relevant in the movie industry, they were normally done as silent films, which is another type of movie genre. Silent films use music and title cards rather than dialogue in order to tell a story. A good camp example of this is Have You Seen My Granddaughter, where they use other elements besides dialogue in order to tell their story. Another genre of film is animation. Animation is a type of film that uses digital drawings, stop motion photography, or computer programs in order to tell a story. A good example of this is Spring Showers, which is a stop motion animated film. Animation is one of the more broad genres because you can do any type of genre as an animation. Finally, let's take a look at drama films. Dramas can be very similar to comedies, except comedies are used to make people laugh, while dramas take on a much more serious tone. A good example of a drama would be 13 Mistakes. Drama can be a very broad genre, which is why it's also known to be a very popular subgenre. For example, 13 Mistakes is a crime drama. We know this because it takes place at a precinct where a detective is trying to figure out why all the other officers are being murdered. Other examples of where drama can be used as a subgenre 
include movies such as The Katana Killer, which is a dark drama, as well as Pure Life, which is a sci-fi drama. I hope that this video helped you decide which genre works best for you, and I hope it helped to give you some ideas on how to write your script. For more filmmaking tutorials, go to filmcampforkids.com. Happy writing!